making a birthday card for my girlfriend Joyce. Um, she does dog rescuing and fostering, so her birthday card is going to be a puppy theme, which I do every year um, because she's an awesome girl. All right, so we're going to do a 65 pound weight A2 size uh, card, and we're going to do a happy birthday sentiment stamp in there. This is going to be using the um, Close to My Heart Sending Smiles Cricut Bundle. And I liked this one here. I hope your birthday's full of fun, but I also like happy wishes on your day. So I'm going to do happy wishes on your day. This is a go-to stamp set, I tell you. There's uh, so many different types of uh, sentiment stamps that are on that particular um, set. All right, so I'm going to use my Misty. And let's fold this back. Some of you must be thinking, oh no, her darn magnets stuck together. That's okay, because I've come up with a solution for that. Because it's happened more than once. I just take my Cricut spatula and I just smash it in between and voila. All right, so let's put those down. Make sure I've got that in the right spot. As long as it doesn't stick to my fingernail. Okay, that looks good. It's kind of crooked. Thank God for those grid lines. All right, I'm gonna use some Heidi Swap Black Archival Ink. Give it a good push. And then the inside is done. Oh, that came, came out really nice the first time. All right, so let's put our layers on. I'll make sure that I put all that away and clean it up after the video's over. And we're going to start out with this brown. Uh, this is from um, Doodlebug Designs. Doodlebug Designs. Oh, I'll leave the information. My brain just went dead um, on where I got that here on the video. And I'm going to do something a little different with that. I'm, not, I'm just not going to leave it on the, the dang white piece of paper there. This is um, Die Cuts with a View, and it's a brown color because I liked the brown dog. And then the next layer that I'm putting on some American crafts I think and um, it's got some cupcakes on it but it's got some brown color in it which I'll show you here in a sec okay that's down and that's a four by five and a quarter and then I cut this one down just a little bit more which would be five by three and three quarters like this now when I put the uh, dog down on it kind of blend it all in so I thought you know what I'm going to put a very small white border around it so that's why I went ahead and taped it to a piece of white American Crafts cardstock and then it's going to help um, separate and not blend in so much with the cupcake paper. And I'm just fussy cutting it. And get rid of the extra paper there. I'm going to show you the um, 6x6 pad that I have that I used uh, for the cupcake paper. It's really cute. I, I decided this year I've kind of got some crafting goals. Um, some things in my life have changed that um, I'm not going to be needing to um, be a 100% caregiver for my mom anymore who has Alzheimer's. Um, she's now in assisted living and they're taking super good care of her. Um, otherwise, uh, most of my time was, you know, being with her and making sure she was safe and healthy. And so back to the crafting goals. Um, one of them is to use my six by six paper pads because I have well, I'm going to say two boxes of them. You know, it's like one of those things like, oh, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, this is on sale. I'm going to buy this. And then I forget that I have it. And so that's one of my crafting goals is I'm going to work with my six by six. There's so many things you can do with them too, not just make cards, but they're good for scrapbooking too. Okay. Now that I babbled on, I'm going to pop this little fella up. 
This is a 3M foam adhesive. I like the width of this. Height, width, and height. I, I like it. I like it. I do. So I'm going to put that down. I'm kind of rushing because um, I have to have my dogs, their miniature schnauzers, I have to have them groomed by a professional groomer um, that comes to the house um, because uh, they, well, they do a really good job. I'm just going to say that. I don't need to talk about my groomers right now. That's kind of silly. All right, so I'm going to put this right here. Oh, look at him. So cute. Oh, but I'm going to add something else. I'm going to put a little bow right here. And I had the ribbon sitting right there on top, but it's disappeared. So let me look at my little ribbon box here and see if I can find something. Oh, never mind. I found it. Um, I got this off of Amazon, and I just searched bow maker. It does look like it's homemade, which is handmade, which I support, obviously. Handmade people. People that do handmade stuff, so I bought it a long time ago. All right, so I'm going to do this so that the bow is, I'm going to do it this way. Hopefully you guys can see me. Voila. And I'm going to put it right across like this. I'm looking for my score tape, which I had a bunch of it here. Oh, there it is. It's not like my crafting table is, you know, five miles long or anything. I think this is just going to add a little bit of femininity to the card because she's my gal. Joyce is my gal. All right, bring that up. Push that down a little bit. Bring this across. Kind of weird on that bow there. That's okay though. And it is too long, which is fine because I'm about to trim it. Which you know, my son keeps taking my material scissors. I don't know what he's doing with them. Goofy boy. Or I should say man, actually. 22 years old. He's not a boy. Alright, so look at how cute that is. But I'm not done. I'm going to take my pink Wink Estella, give it a shake, and I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make the inside of his ears sparkly and a little bit darker of a pink. Now if you have the clear Wink Estella, and you just want to highlight the, um, you know, normal pink color that he has, you can do that. Clear is fine. I just wanted it to be a little different. Okay, I just remembered. It's Digital Delights by Luby Lou. That's where he's from. And he's super cute. Uh, oh, I really like his little freckles. So I'm going to go ahead and come in with my... That's white. Oh yeah, I want white. What am I doing? Let's see if I can get those little guys to sparkle up a little bit. Oh, you probably can't see it on the, the video, but they are, they look cute. Maybe even do as whites of his eyes. All right, all right, super cute. Happy birthday, Joyce. Got it on the inside. Thanks all so much for watching and have a great day.